Welcome to AppMelodies.com, your go-to destination for insightful guides on Android app development. Today, we're delving deep into the creation of an outstanding file manager app in Android Studio. With File Manager, stay organized like never before. Seamlessly navigate through your files, whether it's documents, images, or music, with a user-friendly interface designed for simplicity and efficiency. Batch operations are breeze, delete, rename, or move multiple files at once, saving you valuable time and effort. Clipboard support enables easy copying and pasting of files, while real-time file details keep you informed every step of the way. Experience the next level of file management. Let's embark on this exciting journey together and bring your vision to fruition. Welcome to AppMelodies.com, your go-to destination for insightful guides on Android app development. Today, we're delving deep into the creation of an outstanding file manager app in Android Studio. Step 1. Begin by creating a new project for your file manager app in Android Studio. Open Android Studio. Select Start a new Android Studio project. Choose Empty Activity as the project template. This gives you a clean slate to start building your file manager app from scratch. Select Kotlin as the programming language for modern features and concise syntax. Step 2. Add code in the Gradle.properties file. Navigate to the Build.properties file. Add the following code, android.defaults.buildfeatures.buildconfig equals true. After adding the code to the Build.properties file, remember to sync the project. Step 3. Adding necessary dependencies to our file manager app in Android Studio. Add the following dependencies to your project. Click Sync to sync your project with the newly added dependencies. Step 4. Enhancing the user interface with a cleaner theme. Navigate to the theme file. In your Android Studio project, go to the res folder. Open the values directory. Locate and open the themes.xml file. Modify the parent theme. In the themes.xml file, find the declaration for the parent theme, typically set to theme.appcompat, light.darkactionbar or similar. To create a sleek user interface, switch to the theme.appcompat.noActionBar theme. Step 5. 
Step 5. Creating file underscore paths .xml in the res slash xml folder. Navigate to the res slash xml folder in Android Studio. Right click on the xml folder, select new then xml resource file. Name the file file underscore paths and press enter. Double click the newly created file to open it. Add the following code. Step 6. Adding permissions in the manifest file. Open your Android manifest.xml file. Add the necessary permissions inside the manifest tag. Step 7. Download and extract the zip file. Download the provided zip file to your computer. Locate the downloaded zip file and extract its contents. Save the extracted files in a convenient location on your computer. Step 8. Adding drawable files and graphics for your file manager app in Android Studio. Open the extracted folder containing the drawable resources for your file manager app. Navigate to the drawable folder within the extracted folder. Select and copy all XML files from the drawable folder. Paste the copied XML files into the drawable folder of your Android Studio project. Step 9. Adding layout files and graphics for your file manager app in Android Studio. Open the extracted folder containing the layout resources for your file manager app. Navigate to the layout folder within the extracted folder. Select and copy all XML files from the layout folder. Paste the copied XML files into the layout folder of your Android Studio project. Step 10. Adding Kotlin classes and adapter files for your file manager app in Android Studio. Open the extracted folder containing the Kotlin classes and adapter files for your file manager app. Navigate to the Kotlin folder within the extracted directory. Select the Kotlin class and adapter files you want to add to your project. Copy these files. Paste the copied files into the corresponding directories of your Android Studio project. Now, rename the package names in all three Kotlin files with your actual project package name.
Step 11, running the app. In Android Studio, ensure your project is loaded and synced properly. Connect your Android device to your computer using a USB cable or set up an emulator if you prefer. Select your device or emulator from the list of available devices in Android Studio. Click on the Run button, usually a green triangle icon, in the toolbar. Android Studio will compile your app and install it on the selected device or emulator. Once installed, the app will launch automatically, and you can interact with it to test its functionality. Congratulations on completing the steps to create your file manager app in Android Studio. By following these instructions, you've learned how to set up your project, customize the user interface, add necessary files and dependencies, and run the app for testing. Now, you can further enhance and refine your app according to your preferences and requirements. Keep exploring and experimenting with Android development to build even more exciting projects in the future. For more insightful tutorials and guides on Android app development, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Happy coding!